Hey everybody, today we have my 2006 Troy Built Pony uh, riding lawn tractor. Uh, here we go, here's the specs on it. It's a 7 speed shift on the go, 42 inch deck, 7.5 horsepower Briggs & Stratton engine. And we were cutting the grass the other day. Oh, and I have the bagger attachment. And we were cutting the uh, grass the other day and I stopped to move something and of course you have to disengage the blade. This is the blade engagement here. And I went to go put the blade back on and there's absolutely nothing. So I crawled underneath it real fast and saw that there's a cable that runs from this to the deck and the cable has broken. So we're going to replace the cable today. So I have the brand new cable right there. There is the part number for the cable. Please always double check your part numbers because the reason why I know that this part number is right for this tractor is I still have the owner's manual. So I was able to look in the owner's manual and get the proper part number and then go look it up online and order it. So um, underneath there's a clip that holds it onto the deck. We have to get underneath there and get that. We're going to have to take the, I'm going to try to do this without lifting the mower up. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull the battery out. And I think I'm going to go ahead and pull the, the discharge tube. I think I might have to get underneath it from that end. So let me go ahead and get the battery out and I'll show you where the cable is up here and try to show you where the cable is underneath and um, we'll start there. Okay, I got the battery out and uh, then also to always, always, always disconnect the spark plug of the machine that you're working on. So it's safer that way. All right, so let me get in here and show you the upper part here. So, the cable hooks right here. There's a safety switch for the blade engagement. As you see, when I move this handle, that comes up. So, the cable hooks in there, and then it attaches down there. And the cable runs around the rear axle and comes up and has a little hook here. So, we got to get in here with a screwdriver or a pair of pliers and disengage that piece. And then when we put the new piece in, we're going to hook it in here first and then engage it in there. But we're going to route, route it first. So I finally got that all disconnected. Oh, and I found the broken piece. Here's the, uh, the broken piece right here. It's got a little, you know, Z-bend here, and then it just rusted away and broke. So now we've lowered the deck all the way down. So I got my flashlight in there. So the cable comes up and hooks right here with this pin. They make this nice and easy to get off so when you take the deck on and off it's easy. So all you have to do is push up on this clip and pull and then it disconnects. So now up in front of this there is uh, flashlight please. See the big spring? So the big spring hooks into this pull, that silver pulley assembly right there. So now we have to get up in there and unhook this spring. Uh, I'm not going to be able to film it, but I'm going to unhook the spring, hook the new spring in. Then you put this back in here, put your clip on, route your cable back up, and put it in through the hole. And like I said, up here what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook the cable first and then put it back in here. As you can see, this thing has a slice. Well, you can't see because there's not enough light. Um, you're going to hook the cable up first before you put the sheathing in because that piece there has a slice in it. All right, everybody. I'm going to need both hands to do this to finish this job up. So um, there's an overview on how to change the blade engagement cable on a Troy built pony lawnmower. I want to thank for everybody for watching. Please subscribe. You can always do that in this corner. All right, some bonus footage time. So here's the old cable. This hooked into the adjustable idler to tighten the belt up. So when you throw the lever, it pulls on this. So here's the old cable, and here is the cable that broke. As you can see, it was very rusty, and it fits down in here. Well, what I think I'm going to do is I happen to have... some of this Kendall open gear 
dipper stick and wire rope lubricant. And as you can see there, the new cable is sticking out a long ways right here. And that is where that cable rusted into. Unfortunately, I have to keep this mower outside. I don't have any, I don't have a shed big enough to keep it inside anymore. So I'm going to take some of this rope lubricant, which is like a spray grease, and I'm going to get in here and I'm going to spray that cable down there. I just sprayed the cable down. It's a really thick, nasty, liquefied grease that when it kind of dries, it turns into a grease. So, um, I'm going to put that on there, work it back and forth a little bit, maybe spray some more on it. Yeah, I've got to spray some more on it now that the uh, cable is sticking out. And I dropped the flashlight. But you get the gist. So now that cable is all lubricated and it shouldn't rust there anymore like it did originally. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching the bonus footage.